action. All right, we're gonna do a real quick little video uh, on it. Every mechanic should know. One of the problems you really see on carburetor installation is the fact that the carburetor is not fully seated into its manifold. And the problem with that is when we clamp this in place, if it's not fully seating, you have a backfire in the engine, it can blow the carburetor out of the manifold and then we have an air leak. On a two-stroke motor, is an air leak a problem? Yep. Yeah, yeah so we definitely uh, are not intentionally trying to do that. So we got a couple of different things we're gonna show you. Leah here is putting together this RM65. 65. And we are getting ready to uh, fire it up just down to a few pieces. What I'm gonna do is, why don't you grab that flashlight? I took uh, another carburetor here just to show an example here, a couple of things that we can really pay attention to. First off, can you guys see this machine groove in here? Yeah. Yep. Okay, the manifold, if you look at it, do you see where there's a rubber lip that's sticking out in there? Yeah. Yep. Where do you think that's supposed to land? In that groove. In that groove. Well, check out on this bigger carburetor. One thing I love is it also has locating tabs. So when we go to install these on the actual bike, what do we want to make sure and do? that the two halves are together and so we're looking to make sure that that casted tab the aluminum one on the carburetor is between the rubber tabs or ears if you will on the manifold and we're making sure that it's fully seated before you try and install this thing's a good idea for some lube yeah. Yeah. you know on an actual installation like we're going to do here in a second you want to make sure that that's done when you put your clamp around here what you're actually clamping is that lip going down into the groove of that carburetor and here's the other thing it's only on the engine side you'll notice on the back side of the carburetor the airbox side there is no uh, machine groove for that make sense yeah. so leah uh, you can i want you to take a look here at leah's uh, storage of the project what's she got going on here with the rag make sure you're not down there. yeah preparation of the work area we do not want something to fall down that engine the only time this is coming out is when we're going to cap that with the carburetor okay we're getting ready to do the install leah grab your uh pull your manifold uh protector out of there and before we put grease on this we did this for you guys in youtube go ahead and get a close-up of that manifold and can you actually see the lip in there can you get a little closer by chance all right Right here, okay, you can see that lip, and if you look at Leah's carburetor, go ahead and look here, you can see the machined place for it right there. Okay, so that's our goal. One problem we have, we're gonna have to fix this, but we just wanted to move forward with the video. If you take a look right here, would you say that that fastener is pretty rusty? Yeah. Okay, we, it's so rusty that we can't back it out of the clamp. We need to fix that, so that's gonna be an issue for us. Just take a finger there and yeah. smear it around. She's going to go ahead and do both sides there, a little more light there. Now what, what I like to do is I like to feed like this, feed in, so I'm just going to hook one side to then, I'm going to hook this, and would it be, would the camera be better maybe on the other side? Probably. come around there. Go ahead. Now what I'm going to do, since we got multiple hands here, I'm going to help her out. I'm going to go ahead and just pull the air box back so that this is easier. Go ahead and fully seat it. She seated? Yep. yep. Okay. Now this is the one where people get into trouble too. I'm going to go ahead and just take this clamp off for right now because it needs a, a dress too. And let me show you this. Can you see this hook tool? Yep. Be very careful. If I poke a hole through this, it's going to allow unfiltered air in there, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so what I like to do is I just take this. And I'm gonna let Leah do this, but she, I'll show the technique here. And I walk it around. I will go all the way underneath. I will walk this around. You see how it snapped in place? Yep. So I'll pull that back off and let Leah do it. Fragile, what, if, if I don't lube that boot, what's the chances of me poking now? Uh, pretty easy. Lot. Yeah, like a really good chance, right? And then go all the way around the bottom, just like you were. Don't, don't try to touch it. Just let it fall into place on its own. Go around the top again. Keep going. Don't stop. And don't don't pull back with the. You want to be more like this angle. Pull the camera back to get this. If I'm tipped really far forward, you see how the 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 tool wants to punch through the rubber. But what I'm trying to do is keep the tip 
down into where it's not going to hit. Okay. Grab it again. There you go. Awesome. All right, when I go to put this clamp in place, one thing you want to do is if if this is not like say it's take a look right here and you see how it's closer here than it is up there yeah okay get a get a light on here better uh that one's blurring it's really making it back up right there perfect you can see right here that we're closer here than we are at the top okay what i want to make sure and do is manipulate that until it's nice and even Go ahead and uh, gonna need to, need to hold it from this side. And before I go to tighten this clamp, what I want to do, can you see where my finger's pushing on the air box here and holding this? Hold this in place and then clamp it. And when you let, then when you let go, it's going to be fully clamped on the carburetor and all the rest of this will just settle itself. If you're having a hard time getting this to seal, what, it, what about loosening the air box mounting bolts? There could be a little play in there. What happens is people forget that you have some flexibility and kind of moving the parts around. We took this air box off. We went and cleaned it in a parts washer. This is a, a 2000 what? Three. This is a 2003. Think this rubber shrunk a little bit and deteriorated over time? Mm -hmm. It, if we pull it off from its stock mount, it's not necessarily going to fit perfect. Massage your parts, move them around to where they fit really relaxed. You remember talking about that? We don't want to put a preload or a tension on any type of mounts or anything we can. Because this two-stroke, is this thing going to sit and vibrate? Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Awesome, guys. Every mechanic should know that's how to fully seat a carburetor. Put it into installation. Just so we're clear as far as is this, the big reason for those tabs were the fact that I lose my flashlight. The big reason for those tabs was so that the carburetor is going to sit in the right position. This is firmly bolted to the engine, okay, on the manifold. And so we would not want to have the carburetor like this. What's that do to my fuel level? Matter of fact, we have the bowl off on this. I can hold this up. If this is straight on the engine, the carburetor was installed in there tipped. Do you see how my fuel level uh, is going to be altered. Yeah. So there's uh, definitely some engineering reasons. Since we don't have those locating tabs on this engine, how would you describe how you install the carburetor when there's no locating tab? Straight up and down. Straight up and down, right? We. Hey there. Uh, just kind of wrapping up. I think the video once again did a good job explaining things, but I just I just can't stress enough that it's it's the mechanic's job or integrity to make sure that this is seated, just like with a bunch of other things that we install to. I mean, we have to make sure that we're done with the job. And I'm gonna tell you, just my little bit of summary advice on this is about the only way you're gonna be able to make that happen is with the use of good lighting. You gotta have a flashlight so that you can see what you're doing. Look all the way around. Always think of 360 degrees around whatever it is. If you're installing a carburetor from the left side of the motorcycle, you have to walk around and go to the right side of the motorcycle, look at the top, look all the way to the bottom. You have to look at everything. Same thing with the air box, regardless of what you're doing. So once again, to be successful at this and to be able to duplicate it over and over, we need good light, we need to use our eyes, we need to stop and think and check our work. Have a great one.